it's 7 o'clock in the morning. We're at a rocky place called Roti Chalfa, which is in Phuket town. We've just ordered some roti and some curry, and we just got some. Oh, the curry is actually coming now. The normal roti. It's nice and crispy, beautiful texture. And I'm gonna dip it into the chicken curry. Mm. It's so good. Amazing. Next we have egg roti and on top we've got some soft boiled eggs. Open those yolks. Mix it with the roti. Egg rossi with egg. Mm. Amazing breakfast. This rossi with egg. I'm gonna try some of this egg rossi. We've ordered goat curry here. So dip it into the sauce. Oh my god, look at that. Just soaks it up. That's amazing. Mm. Oh my god. I've never tasted curry like that. It's so good. Mm. I'm gonna grab some of this go and mix it with the roti. That's delicious. So good. And last but not least, 
we have banana roti. So it looks like it's got condensed milk on top and then banana inside, obviously. Let's try some. Mm. It tastes exactly as good as it looks. It's amazing. Okay. I also got this milk tea, so it's tea with condensed milk and I mixed it. Um, in Dubai it's called disco tea. It's so good, it's so delicious. We're at Nam Yoi restaurant. This is a Thai restaurant just north of Phuket Town that serves local classic Thai dishes. I can't wait to get stuck into all of this yummy food. I'm going to show you everything that I try, that what the names are and how much they are. So let's get stuck in. I can't wait. Let's go. First of all, I'm going to try this deep fried bread fin bream with turmeric fish. I'm going to dip this fish in the sauce this time. It's this beautiful sweet and sour sauce. Mm. It's so amazing. So these are really delicious. You can just eat them like chips. Um, I did remove the head when I ate mine, but I'm sure you can eat the whole thing as well. Um, really, really good. So this dish is called stir fried liang with egg. I'm going to try some with some rice. Let's get some of that goodness onto the spoon. Mix it with some rice. Mm. That is really delicious. That's just the perfect stir fry dish. It's not too oily, it's not too greasy, it's just really delicious. Next up I'm going to try this deep fried fish roe with garlic. absolutely love garlic and deep fried food so I'm very excited to try this. Let's get one from the top. Mm. This is so good. It's got a really crispy texture and it's really nice and tasty on the inside. Just delicious seafood taste. I think I'm supposed to dip it in this sauce. Mm. Yeah, definitely dip it in the sauce. So this is um, a stewed pork belly. I'm just gonna take some of the sauce and mix it with some rice. Let's try some. Mm. This is good. I think it's got like a, a sweet honey glazed taste to it. It's so tender. Oh my god. I'm gonna try it with this. A little bit of vegetables. We've got the plain Thai omelette. I'm gonna have some of that, mix it with some rice and maybe with the vegetables as well. Okay, look at that. So nice. Mm. 
This is so good, guys. So this is the second restaurant on our list, and we have one more to try. And these are the top-rated Thai restaurants in Phuket. We're at Mo Mudong, which is a southern style Thai restaurant in Phuket. Okay, so this is stuffed mackerel. And basically they take the fish out of it and mix it with red curry paste and spices. And then they put it back inside the fish. And then they deep fry the whole fish together. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Mm. It's nice and spicy. And yeah, you can taste the red curry in there. It's so good. It's got a nice, like, spongy texture. And be careful with the bones. <laughs> and it's got that, like, deep fried um, fish cake taste, like Thai fish cake. Mm. Amazing. So we've got some blue rice and then this is lemongrass prawns. So it's got this nice curry sauce. I'm going to try them together. I love my sauce. I love my curry. So I'm definitely going to put a lot. And I'm glad that they're not stingy with the sauce. That's good. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> this sauce is like ginger and lemongrass. Tastes a bit of garlic. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. Mm. So this is grape seaweed. Um, look at the texture of this. Oh my god. How nice is that? So cool. I'm gonna make a mixture. So with the prawns and the rice, I'm gonna mix it on top and see how that mixture tastes. Mm. Mm. It tastes like those little balls that are on top of sushi. It's kind of like sea watery taste. Mm. They're really nice on their own as well but I recommend mixing them so you get all different textures on one spoon. Mm. It's so unique. It comes with a little salad, a lot of shallots. Oh, it's even got a prawn inside. Look at that big boy. Like oniony and garlicky. Mm. This in here is called Nam Prik Blaching Chang. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, on the outside, we've got all nice vegetables. I've never tried it before, so let's see how it is. Mm. It's like a spicy fish paste. Mm. It tastes so good. And it balances perfectly with the vegetables too. It's quite addictive. Mm. Mm. It's nice and salty. I think we go really well with the beer. Delicious. This is pork belly with kaffir lime leaves. It smells like when you're in a spa. Mmm. Such an amazing taste. I'm curious to try them together. Mmm. It goes really well together. Mmm. Mmm. Really nice. So 
So these two desserts were recommended to us by the waitresses. They are the best um, desserts on the menu. So let's try this one. This one is like um, sticky rice. And I think it's got like beans as well and coconut milk. Oh, it looks so good. Let me try. Mm. Mm. Oh, it tastes like rice pudding. Like really nice, not too sweet as well. Oh, it's so tasty. So this looks like uh, shaved ice. Let's try some. Mm. That wraps up our tour of three separated restaurants in Japan. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.